Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting the Four of Pentacles. Wow. So you're standing up for whatever you feel is going to bring you love, loyalty, emotional fulfillment, peaceful, harmonious relationships. Like this feels like you, you're literally protecting and defending your honor and maybe even the, the honor of another person. Nine of Cups is like a wish come true. It's like things are really about to become good. Like I hope everyone can really see how the energy has just really shifted. There is a major reset taking place. The Four of Pentacles. If you've been struggling at all, like with finances or feeling like you need to hold back from a person, maybe because like you haven't really been receiving the, the same things or energy that you've been giving, I feel like there's about to be a drastic change, like drastic. And it comes from the Queen of Swords. It comes from you standing up from, for yourself. It comes from... You communicating in a very truthful, authentic, objective manner. Like, the energy is saying, if it's not for you, then you're rejecting it. Queen of Wands. Again, it's like that um, Leo-type energy. Becoming very passionate and knowing that you can have anything that you want. Some of you are become wow, and the strength card exactly. This is that um, it's the year of the dragon. It's card number eleven here. Some of you could be a life path number one, but this has a lot to do with leadership. I'm, I'm picking up a message right now. For some of you, you have been extremely focused on leadership. I feel like something is about to shift and change where you're going to be able to focus more on your home life, having um, more harmony and balance in your relationships. Yeah, the Queen of Wands of the Strength card. This is definitely you being a very powerful manifesto, like att actually attracting what you want. And if there's been any type of hardship, it's like you're going to start attracting help. You're going to start attracting helpful, supportive, strong people. Like this, this looks like you're, you're attracting your tribe. The Queen of Cups. Oh, there's so much love out here. The Ace of Wands. So it's a brand new patch to beginning here with the Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity. It's going to make you feel inspired. Like something here is shifting. You're going to feel inspired very soon to go after whatever this wish fulfillment is. For some of you, this could be someone coming towards you. Whoa. The Ace of freaking Pentacles. Oh, hello. The Nine of Wands is here. Eight of Wands, it's like your suffering is over. Someone is going from being like the wounded warrior who stayed very determined throughout their journey to this, the Eight of Wands just quickly going right into it. This is like, I'm, I'm hearing specific, it's like rags to riches energy. Justice, this is your karma, justice. Good karma. Something is being made fair, though, for sure, with this Four of Pentacles energy. There's been some kind of stuck, stagnant energy, something imbalanced here. This is changing. Something is going to be made fair. It's going to be made equal, balanced for you. And it's going to make you very happy. Yeah, the world is here. Exactly. Now, for some, this Queen of Wands... I 
don't know. For some of you, you've had a queen of wands that's been doing something in the background to hold you back. And this is going to be the year that that person gets their karma. For some of you, you're in this queen of wands energy being very strong, closing out cycles with the world. And this is bringing, like, everything is coming full circle. But for some of you, if there's been a queen of wands person, and this could be any sign, but it's usually, you know, it's going to be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But if you've had someone that was in any way trying to be a stronghold in your life, something karmic is coming back full circle. Yeah, Page of Swords. Let's see what's going on with this Queen of Wands. For some of you, you've had a person that's been watching and monitoring you. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I knew it. Yep. For some of you, this Queen of Wands energy, this person has been watching you, monitoring you in some kind of way to figure out the Ten of Swords. How exactly can they hurt you, harm you? Create these strongholds in some type of way. Something is no longer working though because of the four of swords. You healed from something. Now, if this isn't you, this could be someone that you're dealing with. And there's going to be like this boost of energy and new offers, new opportunities. Rags to riches, like a lot of just peace, harmony, protection. Because somebody has finally closed out a cycle possibly with a Leo. So it, it feels almost like someone has been utilizing your, your strength for themselves or they've been watching to figure out the best way to sabotage you in some kind of way. Something here is now over. You know, and we, it is January 3rd. A lot of people, the new year, you're cleansing, you're clearing, you're throwing things out of your home, you're going through your social media, you are you're getting rid of some, there's some type of energy of cleansing and healing that's taking place that is going to really cleanse and clear your path. Somebody here, it's like for a while, I'm getting this energy like someone has been overlooking something. Maybe not even on purpose. It's just there has been an energy with this page of swords, ten of swords. There's an energy that's just been lingering. Okay. And I feel like somebody has finally just been like, nope. Well, I'm, I'm, there's something here about the phone. Like somebody could be deleting things out of their phone, um, Facebook friends, followers, whatever. Like somebody has gone. Someone has manually eclipsed something out. But what's so interesting is whoever this is, whether it's you or someone you're dealing with, somebody may not have even understood how by doing something very simple, it would actually cancel this energy energy out but also it's just something cosmically like energetically there's a shift that has occurred that has pushed this out this could be some type of like Jezebel type of energy because the queen of wands is definitely a powerful manifesto they're very sexy ambitious um very determined very passionate alluring to many people could be a temptress this person had a stronghold on a masculine for sure. This masculine may not have even recognized that this person had this type of hold on them. But they did. And this could be a friend, family member, or lover. This person could be at a distance. But what this person has been doing uh, for some with the Page of Swords in the world here, this person watches someone online. And it has been trying to figure out how to cause endings for a person. Four of swords and the ten of swords. But it's like the worst has happened. This situation has finally come to an end because someone has found the strength to heal. So somebody could have just realized that there was something. We are still in the Mercury retrograde from their past that was still bothering them. And I talk about this a lot. It's like whoever this person is, that was their access point. The fact that they still had, like could hurt this person, even if there is absolutely no contact, just the fact that a person still allows someone to bother them emotionally. This was this person's access point. But now someone has done some type of shadow work and healing and cleansed and cleared this energy out. And so whatever this person is, has been doing, it's no longer going to affect someone and it's going to allow them to really move forward 
into victory and success. So congratulations because, yeah, Six of Cups. This is someone from someone, a person's past. I just saw the Six of Cups in the deck, but um, this is a Six of Pentacles. So again, it's it's balancing out with the justice card. There's yeah, somebody's finally gonna get out of life what they've been putting out. The three of wands and the empress. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the three of wands, the empress, the lovers, and the emperor. The king of wands, the five of pentacles, and then the ace of pentacles, and then the wheel. Wow. So this right here for some, this is this is straight up a love story. There's a witch, <laughs> a very wicked, nasty energy that has literally been causing a shock. I mean, literally, you have the, the empress, the lovers, and the emperor. Someone here has had some kind of stronghold over a person, a king of wands. This person could be a natural born leader, an entrepreneur, but this person, five of pentacles, they've been out in the cold. They could, this was possibly where this four of pentacles has been coming from. But somebody has had a lot of challenges, hardships, financial challenges, issues, obstacles, has not been able to have their own wish fulfillment or even share them with another person. And it does make sense because you have the Queen of Cups out here and you have the Queen of Wands. So it's it feels like someone here has been trying for a very long time to go towards wish fulfillment or to have wish fulfillment, to have a very happy, harmonious, blissful life of blessings with someone, whether they're with this person now or they are trying to manifest this person but someone has been hanging out in a person's energy for so long that they didn't know. They didn't realize it. And something has shifted. Something has changed. The three of wands here, it's like someone's shifts are finally coming in. But somebody has been working very hard, like really, really working. So all of the planning is finally about to come into fruition. Like somebody's going to be able to experience true expansion. The Empress, the Empress, the Lovers, and the Emperor. So somebody here is, is literally going to go into union. It's just like everything is just going to somehow fall in place. Someone's finances are going to improve. They're going to go into union with someone if, they, if that's what they choose to do. Someone here, the, the King of Wands. This person has their eye on the prize right now. And it's their, their finances, their relationships, their family. Like somebody is ready. So somebody here has been in a dark night of the soul and they were carrying something for sure from their past. Five of Pentacles, what I say, rags to riches. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups. Every time I see this green, I think Pentacles in this day, but the green is <laughs> it's actually for um, the Cups. But somebody here is coming out of the cold, out of some kind of hardship and they're going into this emotional fulfillment. The will is here. It's a very positive shift. This is so nice. It's a new beginning here. Somebody could even have a child. The empress, the lovers, the emperor. And then the king of wands of the five of pentacles with the ace of cups. It's like someone here has had a very like loyal, faithful companion here. This could be a friend, family member, lover, whatever, but it's like this five of pentacles to the ace of cups. Somebody didn't have to go through their dark night of the soul or some kind of hardship alone. And this, this came out in a reading a few days ago. Where I said, it's like some of you, you taught somebody how to come out of the darkness. You have a lot of beautiful, beautiful blessings and Happy, happy times coming out. I'm here. It's like peace, protection, being productive. Like all just things are just balancing. Yeah, the five of cups. 
something here in, the, in someone's past, it failed, but somebody now has finally accepted that, you know what, everything happens for a reason. They've had a change of perspective, the hangman. And so now somebody is releasing their regret. So this is like somebody here who could have gone through a really, really bad breakup. And they were still feeling some type of regret or it's kind of the coulda, woulda, shoulda, like whatever. That energy because of who this person was feeling some kind of guilt, shame, or regret about, the energy of this person is so nasty that it literally had created like a stronghold in someone's life. Now, somebody out here could have gone as far as to do some kind of spell work, hex or curse to keep a person blocked. But this has a lot to do with just like inner healing and shadow work. I feel like somebody for a long time had not been willing or ready to confront just how bad a situation truly hurt them in the past. And now that somebody has sat down and really allowed themselves to process like, you know what, they really, really hurt. But now I'm over it. Whatever stronghold now, it has been broken. Because somebody is, is is no longer wondering, you know, should I have done something different? Should I go back? Should I fix it? Like somebody's perspective has changed. And because of that now, it's like the page of wands is here. Now there's a lot of exciting news. Like somebody's energy is shifting. Somebody now is ready to be passionate. They're ready to do things different. They're ready to explore New, new people, new places, new situations. Like somebody is just ready now because someone had been ready. It was just there was a there was an energy holding on to somebody. I'm really picking up a lot on the masculine, but I feel like a lot of the feminists have gone through this too. Like somebody, what this really feels like is somebody is realizing, not realizing, but they are accepting that they definitely were either with or they were waiting on a false flame. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> Ace of Swords. And this card says new beginnings. Well, yep, the moon and then Epiphany, the Hermit. Somebody has gotten a very powerful spiritual download about a person or a situation. And now it's it's something brand new happening. Judgment is here. Somebody finally made the decision. Somebody could have made a decision about a cancer. You could have a person out here that's like a cancer Leo. I'm getting cancer Leo Virgo. Those signs could be very heavy. Like, there literally could be somebody's chart. Somebody could have Cancer, Leo, and Virgo heavily aspected somewhere in their chart. But somebody now... Wow. This is a major... Down. I mean, I don't know what happened. This could have been somebody who went through, like, a bad divorce or a breakup, separation, whatever. But somebody was kind of just living or I should say existing this feels like a situation where there was no closure and somebody finally decided to say okay I'm it's done somebody finally made peace with the situation the ace of swords and judgment somebody got some kind of download or clarity an epiphany of some sort and they call judgment and the judgment is somebody realized this was here for me to understand my life purpose. And now a person is, they're ready to start a new life. Someone is ready to start a new life. They're listening to their, their intuition. And I feel like this, this was a major spiritual lesson because with the moon and the hermit card here, when somebody decided to tap into their intuition when they had this major download this revelation epiphany or whatever somebody could have even had like an actual encounter like a an encounter with like an angel or something it, it, it has blown their their mind like it's spiritual growth here now somebody wants to be a light to others. They want love. They want to show love. Somebody is now going to be very open to things that they weren't open to before. There was something blinding 
someone and it was you or someone you're dealing with, like somebody was completely blind. Because of this, honestly, because of this relationship or relationships. It feels like somebody was just, has just been mishandled. They've been used, abused, mishandled. They've gone from several different bad situations. And it, it feels like somebody finally just woke up and was like, you know what? This was just a part of my journey. This was this was needed for me to get to where, where I am. And now they're ready to go in a different direction. Yeah, exactly. The Hierophant, divine guidance. Somebody now, they know the meaning of why things have happened in their life. And now they're real. So somebody has recognized the karmic individuals in their life. The counterfeits. With the divine guidance card, it's like now somebody, they want, they want more wisdom. They, um... They want to surround themselves with people who are of a higher vibration. Three of swords, three of cups, and the queen of pentacles. See, somebody, I feel like this person, it's like somebody here, they encountered a queen of pentacles, someone who was very mature, generous, practical, happy. Nurturing. This could be the divine feminine energy here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Someone very nurturing, very down to earth. But when this person oh, came towards this Queen of Pentacles, this divine feminine, they were very wounded. They were heartbroken. They, they were trying to release the past, but this is like someone who may not be very spiritual. A lot of people think, look, you know, once you just walk away from someone, it's over. But if you don't understand cords and emotional cords and ties and how that affects your energy, that's why a lot of people, once they walk away from something or someone physically, they're still afflicted by it. This is someone who has actually done the inner work, shadow work and healing, and they've gone in and they've emotionally set themselves free from something that was lingering in their own subconscious mind. It was, it was a, it was a connected to the shadow aspect of themselves. So this person was constantly creating things out of their shadow. That's why all of this lack was here. Now that somebody went and did the shadow work and they cleaned something out of their own closet, it's like the light is back on now. Because someone has met somebody that's a part of their same soul tribe. The three of, the three of cups. Someone now has a person, a friend or family member, um, a potential lover or a lover, like somebody that's in their same soul family. So somebody now is being welcomed by their soul tribe. This person didn't even realize that they were out of place. This is definitely feel like someone who they hadn't taken their spiritual journey. They thought everything was fine. And they're finally realizing like, no, all of this lack and this bad karma it, it's coming from an attachment. They know though. They know now. The sun. It's been exposed. They know. There is so much like victory and success. It's like somebody got their wings back. I don't know if this makes me very emotional. I feel like this has been a very long and hard journey for somebody. I feel like somebody just kind of was going from the arms of karmic to karmic to karmic. And they finally ran into a wise person, a nurturing, understanding person, someone who was willing to be giving This person went to somebody wounded. And, and it's like they were reminded that they are a warrior. And now this person, they're, they're coming out. They're fighting. They're ready. They know the truth. They've healed. This could be someone's mentor for some. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be someone just had a really great mentor. But I feel like somebody has learned a lot from someone. That, and there is a romantic interest. Somebody's like they, they really want they want to be better. 
a lot better. But th this is this was a very slow, gradual process here because this is somebody who they they didn't see a, they didn't understand this attachment to them. Yep. Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands. The deception here has finally been revealed. I don't know if this person had to travel or somebody reached out to them. I feel like this is very um, specific. It feels like whoever this Queen of Wands is, this is like a witch or something. This person has been... And I don't know why I keep focusing on this world card and the pay. This this person has been watching or monitoring or like seriously maybe astral traveling and projecting. This th this person has been caught. It's something about this person traveling. This person has been caught. And the seven of swords, like somebody has realized, like there's some kind of sneaky, deceptive energy around them, and they've they've caught this person. Because this person is they're doing something to watch and monitor a person. Yeah, they've been caught though. Wow. And 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 then literally the nine look, nine of swords. That's canceling everything out. Someone has just been worried, stressed out, having all of this fear and anxiety, and it was totally unnecessary. It was all because of this person. Like somebody has been projecting um, guilt, regret, shame to the point where somebody, I feel like somebody out here, they have a lot of extreme, even phobias. Like, like somebody is just afraid of moving forward, moving on, whatever. This, this, I don't know who this is to somebody. This is somebody though who either they have a lot of influence on this person, divine guidance. I don't know if this is um, a mother figure, uh, an ex mother in law. Sibling, whoever this is, though, it, this Queen of Wands is somebody who I feel this person respected. Mm. This person trusted this person. If this is a mask, then they trusted this Queen of Wands. But they, they're realizing that this was a counterfeit all along. This person did not mean them well. This person has been doing something very dark and shady to get information or to watch, monitor, or track everything that this person has been doing. Yeah, definitely sabotaging connections. The Page of Cups here with the Five of Swords. I mean, the Page of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. So it's like every single time this person has like a new idea or they receive an offer or they want to make an offer, um, every time they start trying to do something with work, the five of swords comes. This person starts to feel like they're not deserving. Um, it's just a lot of like self-sabotage kind of energy. This is some kind of entity or something. Like somebody literally hexed a person. Like somebody, it feels like somebody attached something to a person that will watch and monitor all of their new beginnings. And it was, it almost feels like they attached something to someone that was assigned to. Okay, thanks. So spirits, they attached death to this person. Everything this person touches, they're supposed to be golden. They've assigned the energy. Of death to it. Somebody did this. Wow. Page of 
page of cups. I feel like though, because somebody has started to love, it, I'm seeing and um, I'm seeing the Little Mermaid. You know, in the Little Mermaid, when Ursula, the sea witch, stole Ariel's voice, the way that the the curse was broken is. She had to fall in love. She had to have a kiss or fall in love. Some Somebody has been... See, and that's the thing. When you stay in bitterness, resentment, um, anger, or whatever, it makes it so much easier for the enemy to attack you. Somebody now, their heart is opening. They're doing shadow work. They're healing. So whatever a person has been attaching to them, their light is shining so bright that it's finally forcing this darkness out. This page of cups, somebody now, they're becoming more gentle. They're becoming more loving. They, they're they opening their heart now. And it's because of this new emotional, emotionally fulfilling situation. So it, it really feels like somebody here has genuinely fallen in love. And it's breaking whatever this hex or curse is. Exactly. King of Cups. For some people out here too, there could be a masculine out here. There's a woman. I'm picking it up. Because I'm saying like the Little Mermaid, you could be a woman in masculine energy. And somebody could have attached something to you. And you haven't been able to experience love now that you're finally opening up to love. It's like this is it's breaking off of you. And then for some of you, because we do have the lovers here with the Empress and the Emperor, you and another person, you both are experiencing the same thing. You're mirroring. But the love and this connection is breaking off all of these evil soul ties or whatever because the counterfeits have been revealed to you. A decision was made. Eight of Swords. And the devil. <laughs> so the devil has somebody bound. Toxicity, codependency, fear, illusions. But somebody is freeing themselves from this. Yep. The temperance card and the chariot. I just want to say earlier, it's like somebody finally got their wings because they're no longer disappointed. Somebody is no longer disappointed. They're no longer drowning in these old negative emotions or patterns. Somebody now has had developed some type of spiritual or, or psychic gift or just in like become more intuitive or they come into a connection with someone who's very intuitive. Somebody has got the, the proper insight for them to see now that there's something they need to move away from. A, a thought process, a person, I feel like somebody is picking up their stuff though and they're leaving a lot behind. It is starting with mindset, but because a person can now control their mind, It literally, it, I'm, I'm telling you, somebody, it's like somebody got their wings. Wow. Oh, wow. Here's the two of cups. Somebody fell in love. Somebody fell in love. There's just, look at the image on this card. There's a love here that's, it's, and it's spiritual. There's a spiritual connection or a union or a love that a person has that it's literally draw, it's pushing everything dark out. And I feel like when, when this happens with the sun, everything kind of came to the surface. And that can be confusing because all of this, this, this drama, this darkness, spell work, manipulation, brainwashing, everything, it came to the surface. The light, it brought it to the surface and it forced the person to deal with it. 
and somebody didn't back down. They they actually took the time to deal with it. Now it's like somebody has a clean slate. And there will be a union here. Because instead of somebody being on the same cycle of running into like karmic and counterfeit, somebody ran into the arms of a healer. A high priest, a high priestess. Somebody that was able to guide them and say, hey, you need to heal. Do this, do that. Somebody receives some, some guidance. And it's really like angelic guidance that somebody has received. Now somebody is going from being the four of cups. Disappointed, disconnected, to being the nine of ones, to being very passionate. Very, very passionate. Ready to take action. Nine of wands. Somebody now, they're like, they're ready. They, they've been determined. The two of wands, they're, they're determined now to make a decision. They're determined to leave everything behind. Wow. But there, there, there was somebody out here who definitely, this was a, this was some kind of entity or something attached to a person. And I feel like somebody knows they know that they've been battling like an entity, the devil, some kind of dark spirit. And they know exactly, and, and not only that, they know exactly where it came from. I said this a few days ago or weeks or whatever. There's like an entity here and it has a handler. Somebody knows the, the handler and the entity. And they've managed somehow to banish both. I am almost speechless. <laughs> this is so just straightforward and to the point. So let's see what's going on. Because somebody is in love. I do see that. And I mean, if it's not a relationship, somebody is, they're falling completely in love with themselves, balancing their own feminine and masculine energy out. Somebody, um, but it's, it's going to prepare this person to be in a serious commitment if that's what they want. Look, I picked up these. You have here true love at the bottom of this deck. You have acts of service and devotion. Now, somebody, for a lot of you, this is a connection. There is a masculine. They're ready now to provide acts of service and show you that they're, they're devoted. They're extremely attracted to you. But see, there's been somebody here. Gossiping, envious, jealous, interfering in your connection because they knew this person was very attracted to you and wants to be devoted. This person, somebody was in the background making sure that whoever this masculine is, that they were unable to protect, provide, or to bring you that type of peace from being able to protect and provide. This person now, look, they're ready to come in now with the acts of service. So that you can have that happily ever after. So somebody here though has had to set up boundaries with a very jealous, envious person. This could this could be an ex, it could be a friend, it could be a family member or whomever. But somebody now they see, I have to detach from somebody or something. Because it, it's exactly what has been coming in between the connection. Somebody has been talking to somebody or whatever. And through this interaction, it's it's a it's like a mo it's monitoring, and it's sending death out. Ever since, oh yeah, I'm doing this new, boom, it ends. There's there's no coincidence. So, whoever this is for, congratulations. Whether you're the masculine watching or the feminine. This took some very deep healing and. I feel like for many people, whoever this Queen of Wands person is, this person may not actually be a fire sign. I'm getting Cancer, Leo, Virgo, heavy. They could be any sign. But this Queen of Wands in a low vibration usually represents the other woman or a third party. And that, that could be anybody. Friend, family member, lover, 
whomever, but this is somebody who is very wicked. And this person has been sitting back in a very calculated way, listening, watching, and monitoring every single thing that this masculine does, and they've been sending death out. That's the reason why somebody here has not had peace. It, it, it feels very much too like this person has done something to purposely emasculate this, this man. And it's all because what somebody really was trying to do is make this mask and put up boundaries with somebody that they're very attracted to, who they want to be devoted to. Every single time this masculine decided to want to do anything special for a person or whatever, all of a sudden they will put up boundaries. It's because somebody has attached something to this masculine that's making them do that. Somebody is recognizing a pattern. It's a pattern of destruction. Someone's like, I don't understand. I'm so attracted to this person. I want to be devoted to this person. I can see us having happily ever after. But it seems like every single time they they tell a certain person something about someone or they make an expression of how they want a better life for themselves, especially if it's including another person. Before you know it, they have this jealous, envious person that's saying, no, 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 no. You need to put a boundaries with them. Don't, don't, don't do that. I don't think that's good for you. They said this is some if this is a person that's actively in this person's life or your life, if this is like a past person, somebody has possibly been in the background doing some type of brain brainwashing, manipulation, spell work, or something else. Or they just did some type of hex or curse. And now this person is realizing there there is an actual blockage here. And they've done something to clear it away. Apparently, <laughs> see. unavailable. See, for I feel like I feel like this is the energy that somebody was in for a long time. They were unavailable. They can give you all that you deserve. It wasn't them though. It wasn't because of them. It's because of this Queen of Wands energy. It's because of this stronghold. And for some people, what I'm what I'm really picking up is somebody here has possibly been hurt. In the past, by a Queen of Wands, this like Cancer Leo Virgo energy, possibly, but then they have someone around them now that they trust that's telling them you shouldn't deal with a certain type of person or whatever. And it's based on their like somebody is trying to use a person's past and pretend that they're giving them wise counsel when in actuality they're. They're brainwashing and manipulating this person to sabotage them. Somebody has the mindset, oh, if you've been through a situation like this a time or two, you're going to go into another bad situation. And someone, somebody was afraid to move forward because somebody is giving them false information. This could be like a, even like a false prophet. It's like somebody is bearing false witness. Like, yeah, you, you need to stay away from this or or don't work there or don't go here and do that because remember what happened. To, I keep hearing somebody say, remember what happened the last time. But this isn't like the last time. But this person's doing this on purpose because somebody knows that if they use a person's past, it's easier for them to control someone. This person just is malicious. They, they don't have good intentions. It's bad enough that somebody got screwed over in the past, but then they have this energy around now that's, that's trying to use that as a way to still block them from moving forward. Wow, twin flame. Somebody knows that a person is your twin flame. And your twin flame has been unavailable to give you what you deserve and what you desire because of this third party energy. Rejection. Somebody was trying to do everything to make this person reject you. Or if you have someone in your life that's trying to do everything to make you reject your twin flame. Whatever. However it goes. Trust. But it's safe for you to trust in this situation. Something here is going to drastically, drastically change. 
this is really sad. Yep. The chemistry you feel is mutual. This person loves you. Whoever it is that you're thinking about, you love them and they love you. And this third party, they are about to be old news for sure. I just want to see. Like, you know what? It's, we already know. <laughs> the Queen of Wands keeps coming out. The Queen of Wands, it's, it's the other person. Could be a strong Leo energy. I keep getting Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Or Cancer season, Leo and Virgo season could have been significant. This person could have started doing something in Cancer season. Or something that they did in the dark. It's being revealed now. I just keep getting Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. I don't know if those are the signs in one person's birth chart. I don't know if this was a group of people or what, but I keep getting Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Those signs are significant. So somebody's twin flame is going to finally be able to trust in this situation and allow themselves to lean in more and trust what they're feeling. For some of you, like this person, they rejected you or you felt like you needed to reject this person. But somebody in the background was making sure that this person couldn't give you what you wanted because they wanted you to reject this person. Or the, the roles could be flipped. Somebody, they did a lot to make sure that somebody rejected you or that you rejected somebody. But it's it's too much chemistry here. It's a it's a divine counterpart. It's it's a faded connection. There's nothing negative out here about this connection. It literally is just one person that has been so obsessed with this connection that they've been doing everything to block it or to stop it. The Empress, the Lovers, and the Empress here. Three of Wands. That's what's coming in. Your shifts are coming in with this union, this connection. Could be with the King of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody tried to do something to make this person leave you out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Or they did something to, to um, sabotage this person's ability to be driven or to to sabotage their their finances or something like that but the ace of cups is coming in no matter what has happened there's still true love here and the wheel there's good fortune coming wow man whoever this person is they really have it coming for them but this person's biggest karma is just watching a person move forward into wish fulfillment. This is like a Jezebel energy. And you know what I'm getting? I'm getting like Jezebel and Delilah. Like people will always say, Jezebel never works alone. Jezebel always has help. So when Jezebel, when somebody is just really bold in your face, disrespectful, of course you're going to run away from that person. What the devil will do is the devil will send in help for just, but he will send in a Delilah who will pretend to be your, your best friend, your confidant, your lover, your friend to get close enough to you to carry out the task that Jezebel was having a problem with carrying out. Jezebel is so disruptive and, and just in your face with their manipulation, chaos, conflict or whatever the average person will recognize Jezebel. But see, when you get a Delilah around you or a Judas-like energy, that friend, that family member that keeps on, oh, they, they're so down for you, they love you, they're actually just trying to get close enough to you so that they know everything because they are actually working with Jezebel and they're all working with the devil to block your new beginning. This is somebody who I'm telling you is two, is two energies. Somebody here was 
mad, upset, or down and out about something from the past, they have someone that has been pretending to be a, a friend, a confidant, wise counsel. That person has been lying to this person the entire. That person will, has been was sent in as an agent by the devil, an agent of the devil to collect information and to keep this person from having growth, abundance, love, happiness, prosperity in their own life. That's all this person was doing. And now I feel like the mask is coming off. Somebody is realizing like, wow, you, you don't support me because I can guarantee you that anytime somebody tells this particular person some information, they go somehow in the spirit and they sabotage you. And they're doing that specifically to the, these relationships that this person has. 